welcome to ASL Online with Miss Tasha. So this week is Halloween week. So we are going to learn some fun Halloween signs that go along with Halloween week. I hope you guys are ready to get started. All right, our first sign is Halloween. Now a lot of these signs do have different signs for them and you'll see different people sign them differently if you do see people sign them. So there are a lot of different signs that have multiple different signs depending on the region or the area that you're from. So some of these might not be the same ones that you see, but I did try to make sure that I found signs that are pretty universally accepted in ASL. So our first sign is Halloween. So for Halloween, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna bring our fingers together and we're gonna pretend like we're covering our eyes and then we're gonna bring them back twice. Halloween, Halloween. Sometimes you might see people do this with two fingers. This is the letter H and you'll see them do Halloween, Halloween. Our next sign is vampire. So for vampire, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one hand and we're gonna bring up two fingers and we're gonna curve them just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do with our two fingers is we're gonna put them right on the side of our neck. Vampire, vampire, vampire. Just like a vampire bite our neck. So we have vampire. Our next sign is witch. So our sign for witch is we're gonna take one hand and we're gonna have our index finger up and we're gonna hook it. And we're gonna bring it up to our nose like we have a hooked nose. Witch, witch. Our next sign is Frankenstein. Frankenstein is going to be signed with the letter F, both hands, and it is gonna be Frankenstein's monster, but we're gonna make the letter F with both hands. So we're gonna take the thumb and the index finger and they're gonna to touch and we're gonna bring it over to the sides of our neck, Frankenstein, and we're gonna wiggle them just a little, Frankenstein, Frankenstein. Just like the little plates that came out of his neck or the little bolts, if you will, that's what we're signing. So we have Frankenstein. Our next sign is ghost. So the sign for ghost is you're gonna take one hand, you're gonna have it in kind of a loose O shape, if you will, and the other hand, so the one that you use the most is the one that you're gonna do this with. So you're gonna take your index and your thumb and you're gonna bring them together, just like we did for Frankenstein. We're gonna have the other hand and we're gonna draw it out. Ghost, ghost. It's gonna wiggle, ghost. All right, our next sign is spider. So for spider, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both hands, we're gonna bring our fingers apart, we're gonna stack them on top of each other, and we're gonna wiggle the fingers like little spider legs. Spider, spider. Our next sign is bat. So for bat, what we're gonna do is we are going to cross our hands over our chest, and we're gonna bring all the fingers down except for our index finger, and we're gonna move them in twice. Bat, bat, bat. Our next sign is scary. So scary, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both hands, or scared or spooky, and we're gonna take both hands and we're gonna bring them towards our chest and we're gonna bring our shoulders forward and we're gonna bring our hands in. Scary, like we're being scared. Scary, scary. Our next sign is candy. Cause for trick or treating, we hope we get candy. So candy, what we do is we take one hand and we point our index finger up. We're gonna bring it over to the side of our jaw and we're gonna twist. Candy, candy, I like candy. All right. Let's see, it looks like we have three more words. There's a whole bunch of Halloween words. I tried to narrow it down, but there's still a lot. So our next sign is fun. So for fun, we're gonna take two fingers and we're gonna touch our nose and then we're gonna have two fingers together on the other hand. And we're gonna go from our nose to our other hand. Fun, fun. And we have pumpkin. So pumpkin is a sign that has many different 
words that can be, or not words, but it has one meaning and you have to kind of explain what kind. So the sign for pumpkin is the same sign that they use for melon. So like a watermelon or a cantaloupe. So you'd have to explain what kind of melon you were talking about. So pumpkin, what we do is we take one hand and we bring our thumb and our middle finger together and we touch them and then we take our other hand and we make a circle or we make a fist. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna flick the back of our hand twice. Pumpkin, pumpkin. And our last sign, this is one of the ones that's different depending on where you see it signed, is trick or treat. So for trick or treat, what we do is we're gonna have one hand up, the one that you don't use that much, you're gonna put up and away from you, and you're gonna have one finger up. The other hand, you're gonna make a fist and you're gonna tap on it, like you're knocking on a door. Tap. And then it's gonna come up to your, the side of your face and you're gonna sign candy. So trick or treat. Trick or treat. Sometimes you might see it done multiple times. You'll see people do three and then like they're holding a bag of candy and they'll hold the bag of candy. So we have trick or treat. Trick or treat. Or we have trick or treat. A couple different signs. So I hope you had fun learning those and I hope you try to remember at least a couple of them. So we are gonna run through all of our signs one more time without the explanation, and we will see how many you remember. So our first sign is Halloween. Halloween or Halloween. Our next sign is vampire. Vampire. Our next sign is witch. Frankenstein. Spider. Ghost, bat, bat, scary, scary, candy, fun, fun, pumpkin, pumpkin, and trick or treat, or trick or treat. Those are all of our words. I hope you had fun learning them. So I hope you have a fun and safe Halloween if you're doing anything for Halloween or if you're just going to stay home and eat candy. That makes perfect sense to me as well. I hope that you enjoy doing whatever it is that you are doing and you stay safe. I will see you next week on Monday at 10.30 for more signs. Bye!